Welcome to a video taking a look at cumulative frequency. Here we're given some information about the number of felt tips in 100 children's pencil cases. Here we're asked to complete the cumulative frequency table for this information. Now whenever we see these words, whenever we see these words cumulative frequency, what we need to remember is that if we see these words, essentially all that we have to do is accumulate the frequency. So if we see that we're being asked to um, complete the cumulative frequency table, we are accumulating the frequency. Or we could think of this as another way. We are simply going to add the frequency up. So add all the frequencies. So let's start doing that. We're given the first one. We're given this first one as 18. Okay then what we need to do is we need to add the next number along to the 18. So we, like I say we're accumulating the frequencies, we're adding them up as we go along. So 18 add on the 22 that gives us 40. Then we're going to add the next one, adding them up, accumulating them as we go along. Add on 35 that gives us 75. Then take a look at the next one, add on this 15 15 added on to 75, that's going to give us 90. Add on 8 on to 90, that gives us 98. And then lastly, add on the 2, that gives us 100. So we have now completed the cumulative frequency table for this information. Okay, so um, let's just take that information again. So it's 40, 75, 90, 98, 100, uh, 40. 75, um, 90, 98, 100, I think that was right, let me just check, uh, yep, that's what we got. So our cumulative frequency, 40, 75, 90, 98, 100. Now, now we're being asked to um, complete a graph, okay, so we now need to draw out a graph that shows our cumulative frequency. So this is fairly straightforward. All that we have to do is we take the number that is at the end of our class interval each time and plot it with our cumulative frequency. So we've got number of pens going along the bottom, the cumulative frequency going up the side. We go along to 20 and up to 18. So 18 in this situation is going to be just there. So we're going up by uh, 2 for each square. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So I'm going to mark a point just there. Then the next one, I need to take the end of my class interval, 40, and match it up with the cumulative frequency and plot that point. So 40, number of pens was 40, and it's going up to the point of 40. Um, next one, I'm going to take 60, so it's the number of pens at 60, and match that up to 75. So 75, that's 70, 72, 74, 75 is going to be halfway in between, so just about there. Then next one, 80, so I go along to 80 and up to 90. And then along to 100 and up to 98, which is just about there. And then the last one is at 120, which is here, and 100. Okay, so we've now drawn our cumulative frequency graph. Uh, well, we've plotted the points on our cumulative frequency graph. We then just need to connect each of these points. So starting at zero, going up through each of our points and it needs to be a curve. So we're drawing a free, uh, cumulative frequency curve, just drawing our points as closely as possible um, through, sorry, drawing a frequency curve, just drawing all of our points, connecting them with a curved line. Okay, now 
part C asks us to use our graph to find an estimate for the median number of pens. So find an estimate for the median number of pens. Now what we should remember is that the median the median simply means the middle. So we need to find the middle of our cumulative frequency. So where is the middle of our cumulative frequency? Well, the highest is at 100, the lowest is at 0. We need to find the midway point. The midway point is going to be 50. So we go along to 50, draw a line across to our cumulative frequency curve, and then simply draw a line going down and that will give us an estimate for the number of pens and what I would say here is that at 50 that looks to me like the median number of pens is going to be uh, about 40 call that 45 okay let's take a look at another example here we're told that a company tested 100 batteries. It shows us some information about how long the batteries lasted. And then we're asked, first of all, to complete the cumulative frequency table for this information. So let's go about doing this. Remember that when we see cumulative frequency table, we are simply accumulating the frequency. We're adding it all together. So we've got 12 plus 21. That's going to give us uh, 33. Then we are adding 36 to this. This gives us 69. Then we're adding on 23. So that's going to give us uh, 80. Um, sorry, 92. And then lastly, add on the final 8. That gives us 100. Okay, so we've simply accumulated our frequency. We've added our frequency up as we went along. Okay, so now we are being asked to draw out a graph, our cumulative frequency graph. So let's take that information, 33, 69, 92, 100, 33, 69, 92, 100. So that's just the information from the previous page. And <clears throat> we now need to draw out our cumulative frequency graph. So we do exactly the same as what we did last time. We take the point at the end of our class interval, so 55, and we plot that with each of our cumulative frequency numbers. So we've got 12 here, so we go to 55, and then up to 12. So again, we're going up by 2 each time, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 going to have a point there. Then next we've got 60 and 33, so along to 60, then up to 33, so that's going to be uh, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33 is so going to be just there. Then 65, so 65, we need to go along to 65, and then up to 69, so we've got 60 here, 62, 64, 66, 68, 69, and then our next one, 70, go along to 70, and then up to 92, so we're at 80 there, uh, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, and then lastly at 75, we go to 75, then up to 100, which is just there. So once we've done that, we simply connect our points with a curve. So plot in our points with a curve. Try to be um, a little bit more accurate than I've been there. That's a bit, a bit dodgy. Try and correct that slightly. Um, so connect it with a curve as accurately as you can. Um, and so now we've drawn our cumulative frequency curve. Then all that we need to do now is use your completed graph. This is our graph here to find an estimate for the median time. So again, we find 
the median the median is the middle of our cumulative frequency so the middle of our cumulative frequency we are going to go to so the middle our tops 100 our lowest is 0 so we need to go to 50 so 40 42 44 46 48 50 go along to 50 draw a line going across and then go down from our cumulative frequency curve and that's going to give us so that I think looks like 62.5 hours so an estimate for the median time would be 62.5 it tells us to state the units of your answer it's in hours so it's 62.5 hours is our answer